Hi, and welcome back to the channel. My name's Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux on YouTube. And before I go any further, I just want to thank you for yesterday's video. I don't understand it at all, frankly. I am kind of blown away by the amount of views and thumbs up and additional subscribers to the channel. Uh, I really don't do this for anything other than my own fun and uh, for you to uh, be so kind to watch and leave comments and encouraging uh, encouraging messages, I, I'm blown away and thank you. Today I'm just going to do something simple and hopefully it helps somebody. Uh, so I'm, I've got Debian Bullseye on this machine and we're going to just simply update to Bookworm. I've had a, a couple people leave comments that it um, it did some breakage. Maybe there was one small step that was kind of missed, and if that's the case, then let's 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 see if we can help you out. Also, um, I want to take a look at how much RAM is being used, what the resources are between uh, Bullseye and Bookworm. So in order to do that, I just want to do something simple. Like uh, I have three. Uh, window managers on this particular test machine. So I'm just going to log into my DWM, uh, which I was using yesterday. And I'm going to look at this number. I'm, I'm not going to go like crazy and, you know, look at free. Yeah. Okay. So basically, if you, if you want to draw any type of like, let's just call it 427, you know, 427. Okay. So let me go ahead and just log out of that and let's go to BSPWM and it might be a little bit higher just because I didn't reboot but let's let's see where we are we're at 425 so that's that's good too very very light and let's go to one more and that is the DK window manager my favorite and 427. So really, really similar, you know, really similar. So in order to do the update, uh, what I think you should do is we're going to go to sudo my and micro is the text editor. Okay. And we're going to put Etsy uh, apt and then sources list. Okay. Now you can see all the um, all the lines that we have that we're going to do is we're going to do two things and if you're using micro it's kind of easy you can just hit control e and say replace all and we're going to say bullseye and bookworm okay that's something simple so it was control e and replace all bullseye bookworm and when i hit that it replaced 12 occurrences so we've got it in every spot where we had uh, bullseye it's changed out to bookworm and the one thing that we also want to do is add a, a couple one line uh, actually just the end to one line okay and that is right here at the top where we're looking at non-free contrib and we want to add non-free firmware okay just do that. Make sure you're you're using an extra uh, an extra tag to that. So non-free firmware because that's what we're going to see in the um, in Debian 12. If we were doing an installation, it would automatically put this line in uh, in your sources list. So as I'm using um, as I'm using Micro, I'm going to hit Control S to save and Control Q to quit. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. Oh, control L. There we go. And then sudo apt clean, which is basically uh, eliminating whatever cache there is from bullseye. And then we're going to sudo apt update. Okay, cool. Now, what I'd like to do is um, do an upgrade. Now, I'm, I'm hoping that it's not going to be that, okay? So if I have, if you see that, you may end up needing to uh, install a package prior to. So um, it looks like we're going to have to install 
uh, this. Okay, so sudo apt install lib wa com common. Oh, I misspelled com common. And yes. And then we're going to go Q. It's good to see this sometimes when you're, uh, if you're doing a video, it could be a, a potential issue for uh, others as well. And cool. And let's do sudo uh, apt auto remove. And there it is. And so we're going to hit yes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen again. And let's do an update just one more time. And there you go. So let's do the upgrade. And there you have it. We're going to start this. Yes. Um, and I will pause the video until, uh, until this is complete. Okay, we are back. And what we're going to do is we're going to say sudo apt, I'm going to clear the screen, full upgrade. Okay, notice it's got other stuff that it didn't get while uh, we did the upgrade, so it's going to be full upgrade. Okay, not sure how much time is needed for this. Looks like it's almost done anyway. I think I'll Wait this one out. And there you go. Okay, so let's sudo apt auto remove. All right, and we're going to just hit yes and let's remove these packages. And there you go. Let's clear the screen. So I think we're just going to go sudo reboot. And let's see what we got when we come back. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, I'm just saying we come back. <laughs> All right. Well, we can see that the uh, new kernel is being loaded. And okay, we are going to log in. Actually, you know, uh, by the way, if you're curious, this is the Lie console uh, login manager. I'm going to go back to DWM just because I think that we did that first. So let's do that. And when I uh, when I look at the memory, it is more. Uh, and it could be due to um, the update in kernel. Could be a number of different reasons, uh, but it's about what 120 megabytes more thereabouts uh, as far as RAM usage. Okay, so let's go see if that's consistent throughout. And I'm going to move to BSPWM and uh, hmm. Yeah, I, I, let me take a second to look at this. Now, notice the rounded edges on the um, on the window. I have this in my um, PyCom configuration, and it did, and it wasn't able to actually pick up rounded corners until the update. So, for example, in PyCom, uh, using the bullseye. Uh, packages, um, it did not have the ability to do rounded corners. And now with Bookworm, rounded corners, um, the update to the PyCom uh, allows you to have rounded corners. That's, you know, cool. Is it, is it worthwhile? Mm, eh, You're, you be the judge. Okay, so 529, and let's go ahead and log out, and let's try the DK window manager. And 550. 
So consistent. It's consistent. You know, is it? It's about let's just say a hundred uh, megabytes as far as RAM usage. A little bit more. Um, still, you know, quick. No question about it. Okay. So this concludes uh, this video on doing a, a full upgrade from uh, Bullseye to Bookworm, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.